Hi, this is David. Today I want to talk about one of my favorite tools, Chocolaty. Chocolaty is a free package manager. You can find it at chocolaty.org. Navigate to there and click on install and there's the instructions for installing. Open up a PowerShell or a command.exe um, and if I click on this and you can see these are the just copy this into the command window. You probably have to run with administrative privilege or copy this into uh, a PowerShell window as well, and that'll work. I've already installed Chocolaty, so what I want to do is once I've installed Chocolaty, I want to use it. Chocolaty is a package manager for Windows applications. So number one, it only works on Windows, and number two, it allows you to automatically install software and all of that software's dependencies with a single line of code. What I'll show you is an example right now of installing Visual Studio Code. Um, if I go over here from chocolate.t.org and click on packages, you can see that this is how I install things. Choco install something. Uh, if I wanted to install uh, Adobe Acrobat Reader, it'd be Choco install Adobe Reader. For Visual Studio Code, I'll just search for it. Visual Studio Code. And we'll see there's a deprecated version, a few things that are Visual Studio. What I want is this one, Visual Studio Code version 1.2.51, and there's the command to do it. So I'll copy that, and then I'll open up a command window. I want to run this as administrator, and then I'll paste Chaco install Visual Studio Code into this window. If I specify dash Y, it'll answer yes to any prompts that I have. I'm going to not specify dash Y so you can see what happens. It'll stop right here, go through, download the package, and it'll say, do you want to run the script? I'll press Y to run it. It'll run that, and now it says, do you want to run this script as well? So this one actually has a couple of things that you need to install. And so it asks me two questions. A dash Y would have suppressed both of those and made it go a lot faster, which is really useful if you want to create a batch file that contains a bunch of Chaco install scripts, which is what I do when I create a new, uh, when, I, when I rebuild my machine. If I want to start from scratch, format the hard drive, reinstall window, and, uh, Windows, and I have a bunch of tools like Node.js and uh, an FTP client and a uh, PDF reader and oh, Visual Studio Code or Visual Studio, all these things that I, I always want to install on any new machine. I just run a batch file and every single one of them I put Chaco install, the name of the package, space dash Y. I run this batch file and then I walk away and a couple of hours later I come back, it's all done for me. So now I've done this, uh, in install, installing most software I have to actually exit this command window and go back into it if it happens to be some sort of a command line tool. And so if I do this, if I say uh, the way that I launch Visual Studio Code is with CODE dot, and that will launch it in whatever directory I happen to be in right here. And the first time I launch, it's smart enough to take me to this web page, but here's Visual Studio Code. It's right there for me. I can start using it right away should also be right here in my start window. I can launch it this way as well. It is installed just as if I installed it. I'd gone to the Visual Studio Code website, download the install package or the install executable, downloaded any prerequisites, and run that. So it makes it a lot easier. If I get tired of Visual Studio Code, I can always go back here and launch a command window again with administrative privilege and I'll say Chaco install or Chaco sorry uninstall VS code dash Y this time and you'll see that now it will actually uninstall Visual Studio Code and also uninstall any dependencies that Visual Studio Code has and there it is. I'm done. Exit out of here 
launch a new command window. Well, first I don't see it here in my start menu. And if I launch a command window and try to do code dot, it doesn't recognize it. It's totally been removed from my system. It's that simple. In this video, I showed you how to use Chocolatey to install an application from the command line. Thank you for watching.